After knowing question 1a, let's talk about question 1b. Alright, so what is the difference between a strain and a yarn? Alright, so I would suggest you just take down uh, these definitions because it's more detailed than defin definitions. So yarn is a long continuous length of interlocking fibers, which is this one. Alright, interlocking because they are interlocking each other, you see. Alright, uh, or interlocking twisted fibers used for the production of textile or fabrics or whatever it is all right while strain is an untwisted bundle of filament so it's either twisted or untwisted so this is the strain this is the yarn all right what i want to build on is that what is called the filament or what is the fibers and in fact they comes from something we call the roving all right remember roving from your slides uh 82 all right with your part one part one pdf as you can see this is the roving all right so you have this certain threads out you see or maybe this line as you can see this little thin line so these are all your or all, all your filament or your fiber fiber threads or whatever comparatively you will have a chop strain mat all right, where you have all this randomly aligned uh, fibers all along like toilet paper so in in this case we are talking about actually is the roving so you will have this uh this thing so these are all your threads all right and you will have this this particular filament all right and this filament will be either all right compound onto all together as a as, as all together like that it's called a strain all right if you were to twist it all around then it's called the uh yarn and this is what it's trying to say la, all right so to draw for fun this one all right, you can draw like that. All right, leave it blank, leave it blank, and leave it blank. All right, the next thing you can do is to draw like that, and then you draw another like that, and then you draw another like that, and then after that over here you can draw it overlapping. All right, you can overlap. Over here you can connect the the things. You can connect your, sorry. Yeah, you can connect your stuff. Try to make it looks very complicated, but it's not as complicated as you know. Yeah, something like that. As you can see, it looks looks much like a chim, but yeah. So yeah, this is not an art lesson. Uh, anyway, so one C. Okay, so consider a unidirectional laminate. So this is a unidirectional laminate where you can pull here or you can pull here. One direction only. Unidirection means one direction. Laminate is a fiber with a matrix as a piece of material, very thin piece of material. All right, subjected to a longitudinal tensile load. So therefore, it's longitudinal because the fiber is arranged in the longitudinal direction. So therefore, it's a longitudinal where the strain to failure of the matrix and the fiber is the same. All right, so over here is a bit cheap. The strain to failure of the matrix and the fiber is the same. And therefore, in order to explain this uh, thing, I'll draw this laminate all right as the form like this all right so the white color one is your fibers all right while your um, so-called the green color one is your matrix all along all right so you put the matrix and the fibers all together and if you were to pull in this direction okay most probably what you will see is this all right so you'll start to actually uh, being pulled in this direction as you can see I'm drawing it out already okay so when you pull in this direction this is the, the, the piece, the material actually strain. So the matrix itself, if you were to just zoom in, alright, this this piece over here is your strain of your matrix. Alright, or you can write as strain matrix M. Okay? It's the same thing like I believe. The the lecturer write as U, strain U. Alright? So what about the fiber? So if you were to pull them if you were to pull the matrix, the fiber will actually be also be be pulled. Alright? And therefore the fibers in this direct in this way it will be yeah, as you can see I'm filling it up again. Alright, your fibers has been pulled. Alright, if you were to zoom in to part of the fibers, the initial fiber and the after you pull that fiber, the strain is also significant. Alright, this is significant, I mean this is the, the strain of the fiber. And therefore if you were to head back to the the question, alright, the strain to failure of the matrix and the fiber is the same. So the strain, alright, so this is the strain. 
so the the more the more you have the higher the strain the more is easier to 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 fail right so therefore the strain this this strains are towards because if the more you pull all right is towards the failure all right because the if you pull in this direction your strain will actually go in this direction all right as you can see uh, you have moved quite significantly your matrix has been shrink your your fibers have been shrink also so therefore um this is the thing so your strain to failure actually increases all right but however um, the strain to failure of the matrix and the fibula in this case if you assume it is the same all right so you assume that both of the fibers and the matrix have certain similar m material such that when you strain it they are about the same okay and yeah and therefore the the, un the the question asked is that discuss the structural failure sorry discuss the structural failure of the unidirectional laminate so they are they want to know uh, what type of structural failure will this laminate uh, uh, be experiencing but before i go into that i'll just need to um, so called explicitly define is that if you have a certain stress in in, in certain direction its strain is always perpendicular to the stress all right so this is the stress this is the strain all right if you think about it all right if you were to pull in this direction as you can see your strain is it going in this direction it's going in the y axis this one is going in the x axis so the stress is actually perpendicular to the strain and therefore uh, this is something that i want to highlight over here all right and therefore coming back to the question discuss the structural failure of the unidirectional uh, laminate the thing is that the the, ma the matrix and the fiber if you were to take a look all right the, this is the um so over here these are your this is this green color is your matrix the line is your is your fibers so therefore over here connecting the fibers and the 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 matrix is a adhesive a layer of coating most probably uh, epoxy for example okay so therefore the epoxy itself is a certain material so if you were to pull the the matrix and the fiber although they they strain significantly all right or the they, they strain in the same same rate all right as you can see uh, if em is equals to ef or eu is equals to em for example this these two are talking about the strain of the matrix lah, for example so therefore if if the strain is the same all right this doesn't mean that the bonding the bonding agent the epoxy is the same because the epoxy if you were to think about it if you were to glue glue a fiber with the the matrix the epoxy if you were to pull it all right the epoxy will actually be 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 opening up all right you see as you can see there will be a certain certain um holes over so that gap over here because because if you think about it or if you zoom in all the way all right this this part over here is where initially uh it's being pulled I mean before it's being pulled so initially for example this point is this point so once it's being pulled all right maybe I should take these two points so if this these two points is being pulled all right as you can see it is being stretched all right so therefore there will be a certain opening all right where the the adhesive over here there is no adhesive adhesive is only only at these two points so once you pull it all right, there will be a certain air gap area because there is totally no epoxies over here, and this is why uh, it creates a certain air gap. Uh, hopefully, this is pretty clear. All right, uh, yeah, lo. So therefore, if you were to to continue to pull it, if you were to pull it, all right, the hole over here will become bigger and bigger. All right, the hole over here will become bigger and bigger. So if you to see, yeah, and as you can see, it's bigger and bigger. And over here, this will the the matrix itself may actually um, protrude out a little bit, all right. Where the fibers itself may actually bend a little bit also, all right. May actually bend bend a little bit and things like that here and there lah, okay. And therefore, as you can see, the fibers has been experiencing transverse loading now, all right. So therefore, if you were to apply a certain uh, a more stretching. All right, the f the fiber itself could not take the transverse loading anymore, and it may actually break. All right, and once this fiber break, all right, this can be catastrophic. All right, this can be catas, sorry, catastrophic. All right, because 
the the fiber itself is the purpose is to to be stiff, uh, while the matrix itself is ductile, correct? So if if the stiffness is missing, the ductility has has taken over. So the the more you pull, only the matrix is taking the load. And eventually, the matrix will fail also, and everything will fail. And therefore, um, the 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 good answer to this thing for if the strain of the matrix is equal to the strain of the fiber the laminate most likely uh, will deform I mean will de most likely to debond the laminate will most likely to debond at the interface between the fiber and matrix which is debonding over here as you can see there is air gap so the the debond is the debond between the talking about the adhesive the adhesive is being uh, debonded at the interface between the fiber and the matrix and further increase of the load if you were to pull it more and this whole matrix will gonna stretch more and the fiber is gonna stretch more, the debonding will become bigger and bigger. And eventually um the the the, in, the initial break will break at the fiber first. So the fiber will break and eventually the whole um matrix will also be 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 be, <laughs> be damaged. Alright. And this can be a very catastrophic uh failure. So hopefully it is pretty clear at this point. Alright, and uh, yeah, and that call, that, that call. <laughs> therefore, give an example of the application of the materials. Alright, in such of this case that may happen to, to this, and most likely this case, uh, you're gonna talk about the type of fibers. Alright, in this case, the weakest fiber in terms of a transverse, because if you remember just now, our, if you were to debond. Alright, the, the, the matrix itself will actually bend a little bit, I mean the, the fibers itself will actually bend a little bit. Alright, so therefore the fibers, the the easiest to break fiber in the transverse lowering direction is actually the Kevlar. Alright, which we have discussed earlier in the previous video, where Kevlar is very weak at the transverse loading, because most probably of its hydrogen bond. Alright, hydrogen, hydrogen bonding. Okay, and therefore, um, Therefore, uh, give an example of the application of the materials. So you can give an uh, example where you can say that the fiber. Therefore, you can say that the fiber is the Kevlar, or you can say it's an aramic fiber. All right, and matrix is the epoxy. All right, uh, and this is the point where I was thinking is the matrix epoxy. All right, because epoxy itself is a glue. All right, so I was thinking I believe that there's a layer of a layer of fiber with a layer of epoxy glue and a layer of uh, fiber and another layer of epoxy glue alright so the epoxy glue is to stick fibers between is to stick two fibers uh, in between it like a sandwich like that so eventually you will form a laminate like that alright hopefully this is pretty clear I hope okay and therefore uh, this is the application of example of the application of the material used for this laminate la. and eventually uh, it will fail uh, due to debonding alright debonding therefore this is the answer for that and uh, you can draw some diagrams to illustrate that and I think this is it la. hopefully it's pretty clear and yeah